Hi, my name is Laura and I'm the owner of Front Office Rocks, an online training resource for dental teams. And I'm also an office manager in a dental office in San Diego, California. I am an EagleSoft user and love EagleSoft as our practice management software and wanted to have the ability to help my team learn EagleSoft better, but found that there wasn't a lot of resources teaching my team how to implement EagleSoft in their day to day. So I decided to make my own. I'm doing videos to help my team get better at implementing EagleSoft. I'm not sponsored by anyone. This is on my own to not only help my team implement EagleSoft better in their day-to-day -day jobs, but now for you to be able to implement this in your practice. My goal with these videos is to not teach you all of the, the ins and outs of EagleSoft as you can reach out to their support to get that training, but to just help you and your team members understand and implement EagleSoft better in your practices. Today I'm going to talk about Task Manager because Task Manager is a great solution for you to stay organized in your practice and to not drop the ball on um, things that you need to follow up with with your patients. Um, there's a million things that we have going on at the front desk of the dental office and following up with patients is a huge priority but we get busy and it doesn't happen. So we're gonna talk about task manager because task manager basically is you can think about it as kind of like a sticky notes. Whenever you are talking to a patient or wanna follow up with a patient or you wanna make sure the patient's paid or we need to call them about the cleaning because they've you know asked us to call them next week to schedule their cleaning, my suggestion is that you put in a task. So this is task manager. There's a couple ways to get to it. I've shown this in an earlier video where you can actually go to, I can tell I don't do this very often. Um, there's activities, task manager. Okay, so you can do the pull down list or you can do F, how do we do F11? F11, there we go. I can push F11 on my keyboard or I can go right here to task manager. The great thing about task manager, I'm gonna log off and show this to you guys is that when I log back in, anytime I log in, task manager is gonna come up right away. So there's a couple ways that you can handle this. You can, I have no tasks scheduled currently, um, but let's say I had a list of, ta of tasks scheduled for today. You can just leave the tasks open and then handle the tasks and either move them forward or complete them, or you can print the report out so that you have the report for you to check off throughout the day to make sure that you're doing everything. You still need to update the tasks in EagleSoft though, but if you're a paper person, you might wanna print it out. So again, this is task manager and this is where everything would be listed that I have um, to do today or in the future. Um, I have to be really careful because I am working in EagleSoft in my office, so I'm very careful not to have all my tasks listed here. So I picked a day that has no tasks because um, I don't want to uh, violate privacy for my patients. But let me just show you how to do a new task. So there you can sort your tasks by status, by priority, I'll show you those in a minute, by due date, by assigned to, category, and patients. And you can assign it to different people on your team. So you can, let's say uh, one of your coworkers has asked you to remind them to do something. You can actually assign a task to a coworker. If you're a manager or somebody that you know the employee needs to be reminded to do something, you can assign it to the employee. Most offices, I don't think, do that that regularly. I think they make the tasks more for themselves. So the way that I would suggest you do this is, of course, new. And I'm going to put the subject in here. So let's say patient asked me to call back on Tuesday to schedule cleaning. Okay. Now, this does not... Um, take place of notes in the patient's chart or wherever you put notes in your practice, this does not replace that. This is more of a reminder for you. So you still would put the note in the patient's chart, but this is gonna be a reminder for you that you need to, what you need to do on that day, okay? So I'm gonna make this the patient and I'm gonna pick test another, okay? And then I'm going to pick the date. So they want me to call next Tuesday. So I'm now putting the date Here's the patient's information. So now I have a task for that patient specifically. I'm going to make the category, and here's my category. It could be patient owes a balance. 
Um, the, there's a claim issue, there's a claim payment, there's um, follow-up, there's a high priority lab case, um, patient recall. So in this case, I'm gonna pick patient recall. I'm thinking you can change right there your categories. See, I'm learning EagleSoft as I go. Um, you can pick your categories. So if you wanna do a new category, let's just say you wanna make one that says um, post-op calls, okay? And I wanna make the color gray, okay? So now post-op calls come up gray. And then let's say I really don't wanna have claim payment. I could actually delete claim payment. Are you sure you wanna delete it? And I'm going to say yes. Now, I'm not 100% sure on this, so don't quote me. I think this looks like it's gonna be um, employee specific. So I believe if you make the change, it's going to be for you and um, not across the board. If you are testing this out in your practice and you're not sure, you might wanna test it and see if somebody else has it changed on their end too, but it seems to me like it would probably be um, specific to you or to your workstation, okay? So now that's patient recall. I can assign it to me or somebody else in the practice. I can make it private or not, which I have no idea what that does, but it looks like I can make it private, um, which maybe means nobody else can see it. That's what I'm gonna guess this is, that nobody else can see it. If I were to go to look at all tasks, I wouldn't be able to see that one. So that might be something where maybe you, um, I don't know, have a meeting with another employee because you need to discuss something. <laughs> so that would be under private. I wouldn't use task manager, just as a side note, to do your personal reminders, because this is definitely a, a patient focused, you know, this is in at work and practice management software, but maybe there's something that you don't want to advertise to the whole team so it would be private oops all right so then i'm going to make it high low or medium so if you get in the habit of using this you might want to do your high you know make things high if you want them to come up first on the list versus medium and low and then i'm going to do the status is it in progress waiting on someone else or completed so maybe you have a note out to one of your coworkers and you're waiting on them you can change the status to waiting on them or you can say it's in progress. So if your team is being managed by this, by your office manager, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you update these so that they know if it's in progress or completed. And then the next thing you could do is you can actually set frequencies. So um, one of the things that I would set up is make sure we remember to run end of day or end of month. I wanna do that as a monthly. Um, as a monthly occurrence. Let's say I want to call this patient weekly until they schedule their appointment. So I'm gonna make it weekly or you can leave it as once or yearly or whatever, okay? Then I'm gonna go to next and here, look, I can say I wanna call every one week on Tuesdays. I wanna call every three weeks on Fridays. Like you can change it to whatever you want so that it regularly pops up. This is really good if you've got tasks in your job description that is asked for from you, from you, but it's not something you have to do every day. Um, maybe you need to uh, do maintenance, uh, reboot the server once a week. Maybe you need to update your Trojan in your computer system. Well, then you can go through and, and change this so it'll pop up on the days. I actually put this in here if a patient pays this month and they say they're gonna come in next month and pay. I'll put in that for the next few months that I reminds myself to double check the patient came in and paid. So there's a lot of different options for this, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna do every three weeks and then I want it to start now and maybe I only wanna do it until, you know, May. So I'm gonna do that or I can say stop after a certain amount of occurrences or whatever the case may be, okay? And then finish and it's gonna say, is this what you want? And you're gonna say, okay, all right? So my point of bringing, showing this to you guys is there's no, uh, excuse or reason to not remember to do things. And if you're a sticky note person like I am, sticky notes are only so good when they get thrown away or covered up or coffee spilled on them or whatever. So I would get in a habit if a patient, let's say, owes and they didn't pay. If a patient um, didn't schedule their appointment and asked them to call later. If you told a patient that they didn't schedule the treatment, you'll follow up with them in a week. Or anything that it's important that you handle, give yourself a task. So that way, not only can you remind yourself that you need to do this with this particular patient, which I love because it gives you the actual patient that you need to follow up with, but also then others can see that you're on it. So let's say I look and I see that there's a balance for another test patient. 
I can go to the task list and see that one of my employees has that on her task to follow up with them next Tuesday to get them to collect or to schedule their cleaning. So task managers are a really good way to stay organized. I highly recommend it. And if you're using anything else that's not within the practice management software, you are potentially, um, you know, there's a chance you could lose it and you're dealing with patient privacy information. So it's best to do it in here because this is password protected. And when you open the when you open EagleSoft in the morning, when you come in, everything you need to do is right there. So that is my two cents on uh, Task Manager. If you want more information on it, please reach out to EagleSoft Tech Support, um, do an FAQ search or get live help and they can walk you through everything. And then make sure everybody handles or uses this software differently in your practice. So if you guys are using the tasks somehow differently and you'd like to share it with us, please make a comment. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is a resource that I've developed for my team, but I wanted to share it with your team because I know what it's like to be in the dental office day to day and how to make this help us do our jobs better. So please make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos coming your way. Put comments at the bottom to let us know how you're implementing this part of EagleSoft in your practice. And if you wanna learn more about how to implement great training in your dental office, you can find me at frontofficerocks.com.